This is the Utilitech or Light Sun LTS 130 digital timer, and it's probably the easiest timer I've ever used. First, let's set the time. Under the word clock, hold and press the set button for about two seconds. And you see the day is flashing. You see there, the day is flashing, Thursday. You just go between the plus and minus keys, move it around to where you want it, and in my case, it really is Thursday. Press set again, it goes on to the hour. Again, go backwards, go forward. When you have it right, press set, it goes to the minutes, same thing. Minus and plus, set, and just tap the set button again to exit. To switch it from 12 hour time to military 24 hour time, hold and press the set and CD buttons together. See, the PM disappeared, that means it's in 24 hour time. To switch back to 12 hour time, just do it again. Press the set and CD buttons together. And we're back to 12 hour time. For daylight savings time, just press the set and the mode buttons together. See, goes up an hour, press set and mode again, goes back an hour, so you don't have to go through the whole rigmarole to change the, the hour. We can program up to 10 on and off events. Use the program button to go through them. One on, one off, two on, two off. You can go all the way through to 10. To get back out at any time, press program and minus at the same time. I'm gonna go back in and set up a program. One on, I want to set it, so press set and select the days. See how it has Monday flashing? Change it to Monday, Wednesday, There's a multitude of combinations. So you just go through until you're happy with whatever day it is. So I'm going to have it come on, say Thursday. Now I'll press set to go to the hour gonna have it come on gonna press the plus button I'm gonna have it come on at 530 press that again and I'm good with 530 but if I wanted to change it just go up and down now we're done with one on go ahead and press program again to move on to one off when do we want it to go off let's say we wanted to go off on Thursday at 630 so press set Go through until you get to Thursday, press set, go up one, we're, we're fine with the minute, so just press set again, and go on to the next one. If you have no more to do, exit out with the program in minus. Let's go back in. Say I want to wipe this out. I can either press set to go through and change it, or I can hold and press mode, and now one on has been deleted. Press program again, clear this out. Exit out at any time with program and minus. So now it's all empty. So basically you go through, exit with program and minus. I'm gonna go back in, set this up again. Thursday at five, set. It remembers the last values. So I'll just go through and accept them all. So remember, whenever anything's flashing, you can change it by pressing plus or minus. And exit. So now I have one program set. See down here in the lower right, it says auto. That means it's going to use the program functions to turn both outlets on and off. Now it says on, that means the electricity is always going to be on to your devices. So auto, off, and auto, on. Auto, off, auto, on. It has the random feature, which means it'll just randomly come on for 10 to 31 minutes at night, like from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. To use the random feature, make sure the mode is set to auto, and then just press random. See the little R appears there? 
press it again to turn it off. So that's good if you're going to be away all night and you want a lamp plugged in to come on and off occasionally. The last function we're going to discuss is the countdown, CD. You would use countdown for like if you wanted a crock pot to be on for so many hours or a lamp to be on for so long. To program the countdown, press the minus key and now hit set and CD's on or it's off. Let's put it back to on. Press set again. How long do you want your countdown to be? I'm, just, I'm going to say just for one hour. Set. I'll leave minutes as it is. I'll leave seconds as it is. And now I'm just going to exit out program and minus. I have the timer plugged into a power strip and I've plugged the desk lamp into the timer. Make sure the mode is set to auto. Make sure random is off and press CD. See my lamp came on and this little red LED light comes on to show you the timer's actually in use. So I had set my countdown for one hour. My lamp's going to stay on for one hour or until I press CD. So this is the timer. It's very easy to use to set the clock. You just press set here. To program your events, just press program. Remember, Whatever's flashing, you can change by pressing the plus and minus buttons to move on to the next item. Press set. To exit, press program and minus. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.